So I am just out actually checking my trail cams. So I'm just downloading them because I have to go away and do some work away from home. Um, so I'm going to download them and sort them while I'm away. We've had some pretty bad weather for the past week or so. Um, it hasn't been good at all. We've had snow, we've had rain, it's been freezing cold. So a lot of the first batch of chicks got completely wiped out. They all hatched especially lapwing chicks they all hatched um just just before we got this bad weather or during this bad weather and so it, there's just no chance and some early grouse as well and i mean yeah i just watched them decline day by day so that is not ideal but we already have some on second batches which is a good thing that has already started so that's good that they've got straight back on with lane um, luckily the curlews and the oyster catchers haven't hatched here yet so the weather has improved lately it's a bit nicer tonight it's been a nicer day today so hopefully it's going to get a bit better yeah so it's been a little bit sad lately because all of the all of the first batch just just went pretty much one lapwing survived with her four chicks somehow but she seems to be down to two now there is quite a lot of you know birds who predate there's a lot of them here um a lot more gulls have shown up and things like that so yeah they're kind of passing through i think which doesn't help doesn't help matters i'm actually just writing a blog which by the time this video goes out i might have i might have posted that about the the balance of all of this and all of this conservation i think it's the balance that needs fixing a little bit and we should be able to protect waders as much as we protect certain birds of prey you know we should have the equal amount of care for both sides that is what my blog is about really so if it is already out which you will have seen on my social media if it is then go and have a read of that it's pretty much all that i've learnt in the past few months or a lot of what i've learnt about this whole conservation system i guess that was quite interesting to write i think and i feel quite strongly about it about it all i just feel both sides kind of need to give a little both sides need to even out the playing field and get on with each other and help each other and there's i mean you're always going to have people of extremes on both sides so that's fine i understand that but I think the majority of people who care about conservation and care about these birds and these species need to come together. They need to have an adult conversation and say, you know, this is what we need to do. We need some compromises. We need to even things out. I think that that adult conversation needs to happen between a lot of organisations and a lot of people involved in this industry. So I don't think it will happen because... <laughs> A lot of these organisations don't get on or they don't want to speak to each other and they don't want to compromise but uh, that's what I think needs to happen I guess. So this is a quick video because I am currently getting ready to go away and do some work somewhere else so I'm doing a last minute check on my trail cams and then I'll be away for a little while and then hopefully by the time I get back my trail cams will have they will have caught or captured some more birds hatching, some more chicks hatching, um, which should be pretty cool because we should have curlews and oyster catchers by then. So fingers crossed the weather stays like this because it's quite nice at the minute. It's a bit cloudy, but it's not too cold. It's 11 degrees today. Um, we were down to minus degrees on the weekend. So fingers crossed.